Welcome back. This is John Locke, and today I'm answering a excellent question from the Reddit Big SEO forum. And this one is a question about schema.org and aggregate rating. How does Google verify the ratings? And the exact question goes like this. I have an external review platform which reviews my store, brand name in general, so not specific product reviews on product pages. So they're probably talking about something like Trustpilot or uh, Google My Business or possibly uh, Site Jabber, something like that. And I'm not sure if I'm doing this correctly. The goal is to show the rating as rich snippets on SERPs, that's search engine results pages, for organic content. So they want the stars to show when people Google and they find their results, right? I just implemented this code, which other web shops have as well, so I assume it's correct, so other web design shops. I also link to the external review platform from my domain a few times. It is in the header. And then they have this script right here, and uh, it's uh, JSON uh, for schema.org with the organization, the domain name, and then the aggregate rating the rating value, best rating, worst rating, and the total review count. And their question goes, I manually state the review score, so the, the aggregate, the rating value, but how does Google verify this score? How does Google verify this score? This is not a dynamic script or anything, meaning it's hard-coded. Does Google know the URL? the URL of our brand on the external review platform? Or am I missing something? Okay, so excellent question. So the answer is, and a lot of people said this in the thread as well, Google does, well, they might <laughs> see the external uh, reviews, but no, they're not verifying the total um, review count from this. This is actually schema spam. This is something that you're actually not supposed to do. Um, the way that it's supposed to work is if you can collect reviews on third-party platforms like Trustpilot, um, SiteJabber, GatherUp, well, GatherUp like aggregates uh, from, from other platforms like Google My Business, Facebook. That might be the way to go if you're actually wanting to do something like this. Um, but this, what you're doing is hard coding uh, reviews without having people have a way to leave a review. And that is actually spam. Uh, what you probably want to use is something uh, like gather up. So this is uh, prob probably what you want to do. Use something like gather up and embed it because this will actually uh, aggregate, I believe it's Google My Business, Facebook, YP.com, and if you're a home service, home services thing, like HVAC, contractor, electrician, plumber, it'll take Home Advisor and some of those other ones and give you an aggregate thing. And you can embed this on a page, and uh, Google will read those stars. But if you're hard coding it like this, this is not okay. Um, so I'll let me show you like some examples of what this person's talking about really quick, and I'll show you what they're supposed to be doing. Now, most most of the time when you are seeing stars in the the Google search engine results pages, it's for a product. So, for example, like right here, if you search Craftsman air compressors and you have see this result from Lowe's, how they have a rating here, four point five. 370 votes and then you go to the page and I think it's actually up to 382 ratings uh, now with a 4.5 average let's click that you'll see right here that you can uh, leave a review right here where it says write a review you can click that you can write a review okay so you can select the overall rating you can leave out so this is a mechanism for leaving reviews on this page. And I'm going to actually show you something else here really quick. Um, this is Google's structured data testing tool. Uh, and this will tell you what schema 
for what structured markup is in the page. And let's run this page through there. And what you're going to see, I believe, is some... Okay, so we got product. Okay, so this is... It's got nine warnings and one error, but product, the name, six-gallon portable electric pancake air compressor, uh, brand, craftsman, offer, uh, new condition, on-store pickup. Some of this stuff is undefined, like the price and the availability and the currency and the aggregate rating. Uh, this is normally here. The aggregate rating is normally uh, what would be reading. So that's normally what shows up here. So I don't know how they're doing this here, uh, to be quite honest. And let's see if we can find out how they're doing this. So icon rating. Rating summary. So they are. See, so I don't know if you can see this right here, but right there, aggregate rating. They are using schema.org. They're just implementing it uh, to where there's errors. But it is coming out uh, with this aggregate right here, and Google is spitting it out. So I guess the errors aren't enough to screw it up. So this third-party thing that they're talking about is probably Trustpilot. So you can uh, set up your company or your website in here. You could have people leave reviews. Google My Business is the same type of thing you could do there. Well, let me show you what he's probably talking about with uh, a company or a web design shop. Um, so, for example, here. Uh, here's a great example. Sparks IT Solutions, uh, custom website design in India. You'll notice here that they have a rating. You see these stars? You don't see any of these other ones with stars, do you? I see one down here, pixel crayons. Let's actually look at that one too, but... Uh, Let's look at this one. So he's got a rating of 4.8 with 10,846 votes. So when we go to that page, okay, where they must have a mechanism for collecting votes and adding it to the aggregate rating. So I scroll down, I scroll down. I know it's down here. It's on the page. Boo, boo, boo. Right there. Overall client rating is 4.8 out of 5.0 for Sparks IT Solutions. 10,846 clients on 18,200 projects. Rate us. Okay? So I want you to see that. 10,846. 10,846. 4.8. 4.8. See that? Okay, rate us. I'm going to give them a rating. I'm going to click this, rate us, click to rate, rated. Now they have one more five-star rating. Awesome. Okay, so let's look at this other one. That's actually, too, I'm going to run this through, uh, let's run this through the structured data testing tool. Do a new test. And let's see what comes back. This is what they're talking about. You have to have a mechanism on the page, otherwise it's scam a spam. Uh, okay, so right there, review aggregate, item reviewed, Sparks IT Solutions, votes 10,847, count 18,200, they're probably putting in there the, the number of um, projects that they've worked on, but the rating, the average, and the best rating. Now, they didn't have some of these other things that are normally in there, like the worst rating or the 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 value but this is the review aggregate and guess what google's picking it up let's look at this other one here pixel crayons i actually remembered this particular company because um it was another company that asked a question about this on one of my posts on my own website a couple years ago that's why i remember okay so pixel crayons they have uh wait they have four thousand 403 votes. Let's take a look. Let's see if we can find where this is at. Uh, yeah, somebody asked this a long time ago, and I noticed like a couple of them had very similar uh, types of deals. This is actually pretty good web design work. This is actually uh, pretty good, believe it or not. Um, 
Let's take a look. Where is it? Can't find it. Hmm. Where is it? I don't see it. 4,000. Let's see if we can do this. Find. Find. Review. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Find. No. Hmm. Let's see if we can find it here. Maybe they're doing something weird. Let's see if we can do a new test on this one. They've got it somewhere. It's looking, it's looking. Okay, organization website. Well, that's weird. Okay. Website. Nope. Must not be on there anymore. This must be an old version because I do not see this anywhere. There's no schema for that. Let's take a look at this one more time. This is the other one that we're looking at, Pixel Crayons. Let's view the page source. Let's see, schema. Actually, let's look for a find aggregate. Oh. So here it is. It looks like it is way down here. Data vocabulary. Uh, this is not schema that, well, similar to schema. It looks like data vocabulary review aggregate. Review rating, current rating. There's a 400, uh, 4,403, uh, the rating value, best, all that item reviewed. This looks like it might be hidden. Hmm. Already rated uh, vi variable rating value 4.7. Let's take a look. See if we can see it. It's underneath here somewhere. Oh, there it is, way down here. You see it? It's way down here at the bottom. It's in the footer. Radius. Notice it's very similar to the one that we just saw. There it is. 4.9. See that? It changed. 44 uh, and 4 clients. So that just changed that. So there's a mechanism there for changing the rating. So back to this original question. This is what you need to do. You need to have something like this on your site. And uh, if you don't want to have uh, some sort of rating star on your site like that, uh, then you can uh, embed something from GatherUp. I know that this works. Uh, if you have a WordPress site, there's a couple places that you can use... Uh, There's a couple things that work here, I know for a fact. So, one I know that works for a fact is uh, KK star ratings. I don't know about some of these other ones. So, this one, KK star ratings, this is a free plugin on the WordPress repo. It's free by Kamal Khan. Uh, that one will totally work. Uh, there's another one out here that I've seen before. I can't remember what it's called. It's not one of these. Um, which one is it? Um, WP Review Pro. I believe this is the one. There's another one that works that's got um, some flexibility to it. But you can use something like this to add... Um, yeah, it's these two. Yeah, that that I've used that I kind of recommend for for WordPress sites. Uh, if you want to have people leave a rating, so there's a lot of ways that you can go about this. You can design something custom, like what these people did. Okay, like this, or you could embed a third party a thing that that accumulates all your um, ratings, like gather up. There's another one out there called uh, App Remedy, Remedy App. I can't think of it. Uh, ah. 
remedy app app remedy i've seen it before um but it's more for doctors offices and stuff like that i can't remember the name of it off the top of my head uh you can use a, a plugin like this uh yeah so those those are your alternatives uh if you're using something uh for products like woocommerce will work um there's lots of, of different things that you can use for that but you want to have something that gathers the star ratings on the site i hope that answers that question don't hard code it that is against google's rules your competitors can uh report you for schema spam hope that makes sense my name's john Locke. my business is lockdown design and seo i'm here every single day making videos on seo hope this helped you thank you to all the new subscribers that have come on in the last few months really really appreciate it i'll be here tomorrow that's it for now until next time peace